In this video, we're gonna learn how to create paragraphs or even area types within Adobe Illustrator. So in the previous lesson, we learned how to create type line like this one using the type tool. And if we started clicking anywhere, it's gonna be creating a line like that. So you can type anything within that type line. However, it's not a paragraph. So in order to create an area type or paragraph within Adobe Illustrator, we're gonna be using the same type tool as well. So I'm gonna be pressing escape to deselect that line and I'm gonna be pressing T for type tool and then I'm gonna be clicking in here and dragging this area all the way to here which will be creating area type for us or a paragraph area that we can be inserting our text either copy our text and paste it in here or even we can start typing within Adobe Illustrator and as you can see here it's gonna be filling our area type with dummy text lorem ipsum we can be reducing that one size from here maybe all the way to 36 and we can be filling the entire area with text by right clicking in here then we're going to be selecting that option fill with placeholder text and it's going to be filling the entire area with dummy text so we can be switching to the selection tool to see the difference between the line type and the area type so we're going to be seeing these boundaries around your area in here you can be resizing that paragraph all the way to make it a small column like this one or even you can be extending your area type all the way maybe to here however when it comes to that line type in here if we start to drag our boundaries maybe from here it's gonna be transforming our world like that which is actually distorting our world and if anytime you would like to convert a line type into an area type you can be going to type then it's choosing convert to area type from here and now we can be dragging these boundaries like that and we can start pasting our paragraph text into that area so anyway we don't need that one anymore so I'm gonna be deleting that area type and back to our original one in here I'm gonna be selecting that one and in order to learn even more how to control our paragraphs we're gonna be seeing our paragraph panel next to our character panel we can be selecting that one from here or even from properties panel you can be accessing your paragraph panel as well if you're selecting a paragraph or area type or you can be going to window then type then choose paragraph so here we have our paragraph panel opened and you can be showing more options by clicking that little menu and show more options from here if you're not seeing that part of your panel so here as you can see we have the automatic hyphenation activated and that means if you have long words like this one in here or that one in here it will be breaking that word into another line like that inserting that dash so you can be turning that one if you're not comfortable with that option especially if you're selecting the align left which is our case in here we have our text aligned left like that however if you're going to justify your paragraph maybe choosing that one from here which is going to be justifying our paragraph like that and aligning our text from both right and left sides however it looks nice aligned like that it could be harming your body text or your paragraph leaving too many gaps between words like that especially even if you're using narrow columns maybe if we drag that one all the way to here we're gonna be seeing all these wide gaps in here which doesn't look great as you can see so you can be activating the automatic hyphenation from here that might be helping a little bit with some of these gaps however some gaps will still remain as you can see so if you're going to justify your paragraph choosing any of these options in here try to avoid narrow columns and also might consider activating the automatic hyphenation option for your paragraph which might be enhancing your paragraphs visuals however if you're looking for the best visuals for your paragraphs you might considering these alignment options either to align to left like that which will be aligning your text to the left however I'm gonna be turning the hyphenate off when it comes to only align left like that so it looks even better in my opinion of course you can be aligning your text to center like that or either to right side like that if you would like so I'm gonna set it back to left now you're probably wondering about that little red plus in here which means that we have more text within our area type not showing and that's because we reduced our column width if you remember so we can be showing that missing text either by increasing our column width all the way like that or we can be reducing our width and we can be increasing our height 
all the way to here. Of course, we can be reducing our text size by going to the character panel and selecting maybe 24 points, which will be containing our text in a smaller area. And we can be reducing that area type all the way to here. However, let's say we need to reduce our column width and also maybe our height a little bit like that. Due to our design purpose, maybe a little bit more like that to get some nice spaces on the right side like that. Instead of that view in here, they are not even spaces in here and we should consider that within our design. So we're going to be using that width maybe for our design. And now as you can see that column is not displaying all our text and we can see that from our red plus icon in here we can be solving that issue by threading our text into another column by clicking that red plus in here and you will see that your mouse cursor is looking like that so you can be clicking maybe in here creating your second area type all the way to here and you will be seeing that line between your two columns which means that they are connected to each other and that could be very helpful for you especially if you're having too many columns within your design so you can distinguish which column is completing the other and if you move that column to anywhere it will be connected to the original column like that and even if you select that one maybe and it change its size it will be affecting the other one as well so maybe you can be selecting 21 and it will be affecting both columns as you can see and same as well for font family or style because illustrator is considering these two columns the same area type however even if we delete that threading column in here our text will be back to our original column so if we select that one we can be increasing our height maybe all the way to here to show everything within our column and back to our paragraph panel now we're going to be moving to the indent options and we have left indent and right indent. So if we start clicking, we're going to be moving the entire paragraph from the left side by 19 points. However, if we undo that and set these values back to zero and select our area type again, switching to type tool, and I'm going to be selecting the first word in here, maybe pressing enter to separate that column into two paragraphs like that and if we start increasing our left indent by pressing shift and clicking maybe twice for 20 points it will be affecting only that paragraph in here so you can be either controlling the entire area type or a specific paragraph within your area type by clicking anywhere within that specific paragraph and you don't have to even select the entire paragraph to apply these values on that paragraph so we can be clicking maybe in here to create a third paragraph by pressing enter and let me set these values in here to zero which will be only affecting our newly created paragraph and switching to selection tool increasing our area type width all the way maybe to here selecting the type tool and clicking within our third paragraph in here and we can be applying right indent values maybe 60 points which will be pushing our text from the right side like that and let me set it back to zero and here we have the option to control only the first line and insert a left indent before the first line of any paragraph so if we select that one in here and we start increasing that one maybe by 10 points or even 20 it's going to be moving our line like that and we can be applying a space before and after our paragraph from these two options in here instead of pressing enters we can be using that option maybe to add 10 points above our paragraph or even 20 and 30 or so on and we can be applying maybe the same values after our paragraph by pressing shift and increasing maybe 30 points like that of course you're not only limited to rectangles when it comes to area type you can be maybe selecting the entire rectangle and rotate it a little bit all the way like that to have your text flowing maybe like that or even you can be selecting maybe the ellipse tool or pressing L and you can be drawing a circle all the way pressing shift and dragging that circle I'm gonna be pressing shift X to swap that fill color selecting the type tool 
and once you start hovering over your circles outline you will have your mouse cursor transformed into that shape which means that you can be converting that circle into an area type as well by clicking your mouse and you will be having your text aligned inside your circle like that of course you can be choosing to align it to center or even you can be justifying your text like that inside your circle and switching the hyphenate option and even you can be editing your automatic hyphenation options by going to that little menu in here and you can be editing either the hyphenation options or the justification options from here so maybe clicking hyphenation and you can be turning the preview and you can start adjusting all these values to get even better results if you would like to use the hyphenation option along with the justification so you can be controlling words longer than maybe six letters you can be changing that one and inserting the hyphenation maybe after first two letters or more and also can be adjusting either better spaces or fewer hyphens from that slider in here and if we cancel that one and go to the justification options you're going to be seeing these options in here you can be switching the preview on and you can start by slightly changing these values and see if you can get even better results however even if you're going to try with these numbers in here you will not get the perfect result and that's not because of you guys that's because justification it's really hard even for the computer to align your text from that side and also from that side and leaving similar or even spaces between words so your best option is to avoid them or even use wider areas so I'm gonna be selecting that circle and maybe increase our size a little bit and you can see that we're getting better spaces between our words which can be acceptable in some cases so anyway that's it for this lesson I really recommend that you start trying that within your Adobe Illustrator start by creating type lines maybe typing your name or anything that you would like to try with then maybe start creating some paragraphs and try with these options in here and I'll be seeing you in next lesson